Hello, I'm David DeHilster. I am a critical thinker, a dissident scientist, and I'm here to tell you the truth about science, something the university professors won't tell you, the mass media won't tell you, and certainly those science evangelists won't tell you. I'm here to talk about the August 21st total eclipse of the sun here in the United States. I'm in Florida. I can't see it. i got to go up north. I'm trying to think about getting there. It's going to happen on Monday. My dad's going to turn 80 years old. What a be what No better way to celebrate uh, his birthday than uh, seeing a total eclipse which you're not going to see. You haven't seen the United States like this for 99 years. You're going to hear that over and over like on the Science Channel, on the internet, all over the place. The science evangelists will be out there talking and well will they say, oh this is just another piece of proof for general relativity. Well proof for general relativity in their minds is that light bends. Well can light bend because it's for something other than space-time? Absolutely. In fact, we have Dr. Dowdy, an amazing scientist from NASA who is now retired, who was in my film EinsteinWrong.com, and I am going... EinsteinWrong.com. Einstein Wrong, the miracle year. You can see it on EinsteinWrong.com. Uh, get that right. And so I'm going to show you for the first time a clip from my movie. In fact, this is the first time it's going public, and it's better for the movie and him to tell you then to me babble on here so let's take a look at up clip from my movie next we wanted to talk with an expert in general relativity and find out if there were any problems there so we talked with dr edward dowdy of nasa einstein's prediction uh came about by saying that gravity bends light how do you feel about that Yes, in the past 100 years nearly now, we have been observing what takes place at the surface of the sun. Light rays coming directly from these stars seem to bend around that, the solar surface and you actually see the starlight when the star is actually behind the sun. So there are some bending taking place there. But what's actually taking place is that the plasma rim itself acts on the uh, electromagnetic propagation and the solar rays and so forth. And going a little bit above that into vacuum space, there's no lensing whatsoever. Ah. That is total counter okay. to even to theory itself. Okay. And it actually is counter to the fundamental understandings of gravitational, gravitational lensing as we understand. Yeah. So, so in, you're saying that actually gravity does not bend light only I'm saying that there's no, that there's no direct interaction okay. between gravity and light. Okay. There's an indirect interaction because you have that, that medium, which medium, is known yeah. as a plasma, that's okay. interacting with the, with the gravitational electromagnetic right. radiation itself, Very but good. not a direct interaction. <laughs> Very good, thank you. Einstein became a superstar in 1919 by predicting that gravity would bend starlight around the sun during an eclipse. Dr. Doughty agrees with the result, but not the cause. Einstein says it's the warping of space-time that bends light. Dr. Doughty says it's the corona around the sun that bends light. And once away from that corona, there is no bending. All right, did you see that last diagram? Let's take a look at this. This is everything. It's very simple. It shows you why Einstein's general relativity is wrong. There it is. So, what does that say? Well, it says that when light enters a corona, it bends. So, yes, light does bend. Once light is outside the corona, space-time and the curvatures, the calculations, the tensor equations that tell us how and how much light should bend, it doesn't. It goes perfectly straight. The stars in those positions look right where they're supposed to be. So what does that mean? It means that what happened was in 1919, when the eclipse happened, that they were looking for bending of light, looking for actually probably stars be that were behind the sun that you could see during the eclipse. And although that, though the data that was actually collected in 1919 was probably not the best data and you probably can't conclude with, let's just say that they had, that was the good data. And in fact, light in fact does. I agree with it. So does Dr. Dowdy. Light bends in the corona. Where special special relativity is wrong too. Where general relativity goes wrong is that it predicts some bending when it's outside the corona. 
So what does that mean? Well, that means general relativity's prediction is false. It's not found. It's not found by a NASA scientist. And Dr. Dowdy, yes, he was on even Facebook page, the Facebook page for Albert Einstein. And of course, the person who's in charge of the page says, ha, 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 of course, we can see why this is wrong. Let's all gang up on him and show he's, why he's wrong. But I'm not, I don't care. It doesn't matter what people say. Their words are not magic. They don't, what, just because they say the words and just because they have a page with almost 20 million people who, who look at it, or at least are subscribed to it, doesn't mean that they are correct. You think about what Dr. Dowdy is saying, and he says that he does not observe it. As Einstein himself says, and I put this into my movie, it's, I'm paraphrasing a thousand, a million experiments can show me right, but it only takes one to show me wrong. And that's what the, the eclipse, the general eclipse tells, general, the general, general eclipse, the I just mixed general relativity and the eclipse. Woohoo! I am crazy. But no, that's what general rel general relativity is supposedly hooked to these total eclipses, and we're supposed to say, here you go, this is proof. But it isn't. So remember, just because people tell you over and over, you have a you're a critical thinker, and I always say this and, and I will not stop, and that is don't take what anyone says on faith. You always want to stay critical, stay thinking. I'm David D. Hilscher, and I'm your science therapist, and I'm going to cure you, and I'm going to make you into a critical thinker and get rid of this sickness, what we call intellectualism. Stay away from being an intellectual. Intellectuals just want to appear smart and they gang up with everybody else and saying ha 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 we teach this all over and uh pull you little critical thinkers david and all your group of people that is not what we are about we want to look at the data ourselves and make our own decisions doesn't matter how many people and in, in the mainstream are telling us different so have a great day don't look into the sun ciao for now